far be it for me to defend uber liberal J.K. Rowling. Really, the only thing her and I agree on uh, is essentially the fact that gender is real. And this is her only non-ultra progressive political position she's ever taken. And every time she says it, she gets ruthlessly dragged by a bunch of Zoomers and millennials that Harry Potter was the only book they've ever read in their whole life. They don't understand basic science. And when JK Rowling says something quite simple, like women are real and you know, that's a thing they have complete meltdowns. The woke mob once again is targeting JK Rowling because she believes that men and diff women are different. An absolute absurd tweet targeting the author is going viral and the responses are gross. Well, I'm not surprised. What's not gross is Coffee Brand Coffee's monthly coffee club. Promo code join the club 50, one word, will save you 50% off your first month. Every month we go to a different exotic location all around the world. It's the only place that you'll get these blends. We've gone, you know, Bolivia, Honduras. I mean, if you go through the reviews, you'll see Rwanda, El Salvador, Mexico. Every month, something completely different, completely unique, delivered to you in whole bean or ground. Truly premium coffee that, you know, can, can be your extra delicious cup of the day, can be for when you have guests, or can be for when you enjoy it. It's truly a journey. Join the club 50 for 50% 50 off your first month. Can you support me directly? JK Rowling, uh, link in the description, once again is the target of the woke mob for believing men and women are different. Rowling has been a staunch supporter of protecting women's spaces. The Harry Potter creator has made it clear she has no problem with trans people, but refuses to play along with the idea that men can become women. Well, that's all you need to do to have them say terrible things about you, right? That's all you have to do to have these people wish that you were no longer breathing air. She's one of the loudest voices when it comes to taking a stand for science, biology, and women. That's led her over the years to be painted as a bigot as, and as transphobic. That's, of course, all nonsense, but it hasn't stopped the attacks from continuing whenever she's in the news. By the way, I believe the Harry Potter video game outsold Call of Duty or got very close. That's exactly what happened late Friday. Deadline reported on an upcoming HBO Harry Potter series in this, uh, is in the process of getting writers laying out the path forward with Rowling having a big role. Pretty straightforward and simple, right? Not exactly. Not exactly. The popular X account discussing film decided to fire off a truly unhinged tweet attacking the legendary author. By the way, discussing film has blocked me for a very long time. Known transphobe J.K. Rowling is now reported to be an ex active executive producer on Harry Potter series where she will be involved in the show's decision making. The account wrote in a tweet that has more than 6 million impressions as of publication. She wasn't described as an author, the creator of Harry Potter, a woman who is very generous with her money, or as a person responsible for the most popular book series of the past 50 years, simply as known transphobe. And they have me blocked. But I would say, um, let's say Hogwarts Legacy sold copies. You know, let's see how their let's see how their boycott did. Twenty-two million, twenty-two million copies sold. Twenty-two million copies. Remember when they said. Remember when they said that they were going to boy that there was going to be a huge boycott against Hogwarts Legacy, and remember when all those Twitch streamers said that they weren't going to play the game because they were going to stick it to J.K. Rowling. New data reveals Hogwarts Legacy is the best-selling game of 2023, despite face despite facing tough competition from popular franchises. The best selling game of the year that's the power of the trans movements boycotts 
The game has sold over 15 million copies and generated over a billion dollars in revenue, continuing to show up sales or show up in sales charts even months after its release. It sold 15 million and then another insanely high amount. No one transform no one transphobe discussing film from the top rope. Will not be watching. We will be watching Percy Jackson and said, Well, that movie sucked. No one transphobe, JK Rowling. Oh, get on her again for me. I mean, these people have no power. It's the same people that that got Gina Carano canceled. It's the same people that, you know, every time say they're not gonna go to some comic book convention because they're like, you know, offended by Gina being there. And then these conventions go off and have record attendance. It's just a bunch of Zoomers with no money or time anyway. That's, that's all it is. You know, people having a absolute, thinking that this is some kind of own. Like, do you know that this woman probably made another $300 million from Hogwarts Legacy and she didn't have to do a damn thing about it? The tweet to, from discussing film was wild. The support for it was even crazier. And it's all a sad sign of the world we're currently in. Wanting to protect women's spaces and believing in biology now makes you a bigot in the eyes of the woke mob. J.K. Rowling has never attacked people who claim to be transgender, never encouraged harm or negativity towards them, and never degraded them. All the Harry Potter author has done for years is advocate for women and correctly uh, women to correctly acknowledge their scientific differences between men and women. That's just a fact, and it's simple biology. Females have XX chromosomes, and males have XY. The woke anti-science mob can scream about all they want, but you can't change your chromosomes. Women should be celebrated for their uniqueness, just like men should be, and we shouldn't be afraid to acknowledge differences like humans have had forever until a few years ago. That's all J.K. Rowling has ever done, and it's earned her the absurd title of transphobe. I hope HBO's upcoming Harry Potter series is a massive success. I'm going to watch it no matter what because I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, but at this point, the meltdowns from the woke mob will be worth it alone. Credit to Rowling for being a consistent voice in support of women. Yeah, I mean, I, I, again, I, these people have no power. It's, what, it's like Dave, what Dave Chappelle said, right? Twitter isn't real life. Look at all the times all these idiots get all super excited about uh, another woke remake that Disney makes. And then look at all the people that were talking about the Marvels lost $250 million. Look at all the people that were talking about the Toy Story movie where we had two chicks uh, kissing in it and was so stunning and brave. Lost $250 million. Look at all the people talking about support for all these different woke shows that end up canceled after a year. Look at all the people that supported She-Hulk because it was stunning and brave and she got to have that great line, men bad, and uh, it was so awesome and everybody needs to watch She-Hulk. Got canceled. This new show they have where it's like a blind, deaf, amputee superhero or whatever. Native American. It's so stunning and brave. She's Native American. Won't make it out of one season. Guaranteed. So I don't know how long it's going to take for these organizations, you know, for these companies to actually understand that Twitter isn't real life and that, you know, ultimate, I mean, look at, again, look at the sales of Hogwarts Legacy. You remember when everybody said they were boycotting it? All those, you know, uh, here at Hogwarts Legacy boycott tweets getting 80, 90, 100,000 likes. Didn't stop, didn't stop selling a single copy. By the way, most of the people who liked that tweet were probably never going to buy it anyway, couldn't afford it. And a big chunk of them, I also bet, probably still bought them. You know what I mean? A lot of people like to pretend boycott and then still like, like, uh, like Kid Rock. Oh, Kid Rock's one of us, guys. He's boycotting against Bud Light. No, he wasn't. He was just doing it for clout. And he went right back to drinking it. Harry Potter TV series zeroes in on premise as selected writers pitch their ideas to Max. Of course, this, this show will be a huge success if it's good. If it's good. That's the whole thing, right? The show has to be good. And then people will watch it. 
all these weirdos online that are, you know, constantly talking about, you know, diversity and inclusion and all this kind of crap and all this kind of stuff. They don't care. They don't watch your stuff anyway. They're either bots or they're just terminally online weirdos. That's why all these woke movies and these reimaginings all fake. Whatever happened to the Black Wonder Years? Is that still on there? Remember when they remade the Wonder Years and said, remember that awesome show from when you were young? Well, what if they were black? Or what about um, a league of their own? Remember how stunning and brave the league of their own was and all that girl-on-girl, hot girl-on-girl action? And how it didn't even make it past one season? I mean, I could go down the list of you know, innumerable woke programs that last a single year and have everyone to talk about. When's the last time you anyone talked about Impractical Jokers? That show was like the number one thing on TV for how many years? 10 years? Only fell apart because of some weird drama between the cast. Guess what? That show wasn't woke. It wasn't inclusive. And nobody talked about it online. But for somehow, all those guys will never have to work again because it was so wildly popular. It's just, it's just so funny to me how this goes every single time. It just, it just, I love to see it. I love to remind people that Hogwarts Legacy is the number one selling game last year, even though the, the power of the trans boycott and that the Harry Potter TV series on HBO is going to be very successful as well, just as long as it's decent. It's just got to be good. That's all they got to do. It has nothing to do with these fake people on Twitter.